Midrash on the Lord's Prayer. 1. Our Father, simultaneously far and near, my insufficient fear could never drive me to dive deep as Titanic on the wide Atlantic's floor, for there's nowhere to hide. Or if I tried an astro Jonah scooting to some far star, that's where you'd be. Especially for me, since you've made a walking temple of this aging cage of bones that could never contain you. And though your notorious silence shakes the last leaf from my tree, I can't push you from my consciousness. Stress only what I see. For this shriveling balloon of a world would be so hollow in your absence, and my only escape from blame would seep away. Hallowed be your name. Two. We pray for what is and what will be, your divinity spreading kingdom seed into its valuable dying, so that what is grows, and so reality subtracts our macro-negativity from our micro-good, and so our mess doesn't mess with your sovereignty, as if it ever could. 3. Give us this day bread with strawberry jam, even if made by our own hands. For though I worked for coins to buy flour, and I worked the dough before it went into the pan, and I helped hull berries for the slow, rolling hosanna. Without sun and rain shower, there'd be no grain, or berries ripening in rows. We shall not live by bread alone but by every sweet jewel of Christ. 4. I know my mind forges manacles, and the keys my heart jingles are slow to click in those rusty locks, so the miry sorrow of those who've wronged me will be a swamp they must wallow in. May we release ourselves as you have already released us. For it's not until the last chain falls away that we go free. 5. Lead us not into sensation, but deliver us from revealing what we think proves us right. Uncover our hiding. Rip sunglasses from our faces, our defense against sunlight on into the night. Spit on our eyes or pluck them right out, to be made new and without offense. Amen.